Planet News First investigates Better Call Harry ends the week with a great news story for a local daycare owner who needed Harry's help. Oh, absolutely. A week ago, the daycare owner was out of money and almost had to close, but mm. not anymore. Harry's here to talk about an issue. And Harry, this has been impacting daycares across the state now for months. It has been since uh, this past November. Wait for the ending on this one. It's good. It's worth watching. All right. Crystal and Rivera says 95% of her daycare's tuition is subsidized through Georgia's Department of Early Care and Learning, or DECAL. Six months ago, DECAL made a big change, and daycares across the state were like, um, where's my money? Miss Rivera says the state owed her over $100,000, but as of today, one week later, she's got $60,000 in the bank, and the rest is on the way. Without your involvement, I wasn't getting any answers. After your involvement, they spent an hour on the phone with me and explained everything, and we went week by week, and then my payment showed up. All that money comes from a state-run, federally funded scholarship program for low-income parents called CAPS, C-A-P-S. And if you want information about the program, here's the web page. All you have to do is Google CAPS in all caps. Daycares across Georgia get their CAPS funding directly deposited into their bank accounts. And everything was fine until November when Georgia's Department of Early Care and Learning changed the system and the way it pays the daycares. A decal spokesperson said, we simply brought the provider management function in-house with a new system called GA Caps. This is providing streamlined services and increased personal services for providers. But when that happened, daycare owners blew up the internet with complaints. This week right here, um, they missed a payment. In December, we only got two payments. Did the system work before? It worked perfectly fine. Daycare providers are still complaining, and some have even stopped taking CAPS kids. That's another story. But the state agency says it has a dedicated team working round the clock. Crystalline had to let her cleaning staff go, but with money now in the bank, she's got the funding she needs to pay staff and buy diapers. Lots of diapers. So, multiple payments, right? Yes. I mean, you could stay open, yes. keep going, yes. and I'm pretty sure that means that you can buy a lot of... A lot of diapers. Diapers. Yes. Thank you. All right, so yeah, thanks to the, the staff employees who really knew how to throw those diapers. We understand that there are some daycare owners who may be worried about posting complaints online about their payments. But if it's still a problem, complain to Atlanta News First, investigates, go to our website and send me an email. We will forward that information to the state. The state says they're working on it. I'm Better Call Harry, Atlanta News First.